Well, it's time for my breakfast. Nice egg for breakfast there. And what we notice, of course, is the yellow yolk in the middle and the clear part around the outside. Now, that clear part around the outside is primarily albumin. It's nearly all albumin, actually. And we can see it's a clear protein, very high in protein albumin. The key thing we notice here is that it's clear. We can see the colour of the white frying pan quite clearly beneath that. Albumin is a globular protein. It's very common in human blood. It's the most common plasma protein. And it's a water-soluble protein. But the thing is now, I'm heating it up on my cooker. So what's going to happen is the protein, as it heats up, it's going to denature. So we have viable protein here that's in the process of denaturing, changing its nature. The organised protein structure is becoming disorganised. And as we heat it up, the protein which was in a living physiological form is now going to change and become denatured. And it's going to necrose. If it was living tissue, this would be necrosing. And we can see it's starting to go white. Move it a little bit so we can see better. And we all seem to manage to break the yolks of eggs. And it seems to be going well today. Just doing it slowly. So we can see it's now going from clear to white. It is necrosing. Now if this was a burn, that central area would be the area of coagulation necrosis. That protein is actually coagulating. And coagulating means it's going from a a liquid state into a solid state or a semi-solid state. So if this was living tissue it would now be dead, it's coagulated. Round about that of course we'd have the zone of stasis where there's reduced blood supply and round about that we'd have the zone of hyperemia where there's inflammatory changes. So you can see clearly now we've gone from that clear albumin it's now denatured it's now necrosed this is now dead it makes it nice to eat of course <laughs> but it's actually a completely dead tissue now it's gone white denatured necrosed that can never come back to life again the complex protein structure i have completely destroyed with heat